Yes, I've got one large and one medium. Billingsgate Market in London's East End. The hunting ground of Roger Barton. They never worried about the weather when they come back from Dunkirk, did they? A ruthless fish merchant with a reputation so bad, it's earned him the nickname the Bastard of Billingsgate. You want to play hardball with me? No problem. If I'd have had a mirror an hour earlier. Bye now, bye John, bye. After bye. 50 years in the fish trade, Roger's following a dream to explore the world's greatest food markets. Pitting him against the sharpest traders on the planet, the programme makers have given him a fighting fund to trade with. Working in markets, the only way to learn is to put your money in. Any pollock? $30. He's already won over New York. Okay. You're very affectionate for an Englishman, let me tell you. Just one peso. I can't pay more. But got badly burnt in Mexico. He's got us on the floor and he's not going to let us up. I lost my pride and that hurts and I want to get it back. Now Roger's off to Delhi and the biggest market in Asia. The only thing I know really about India is people say, oh, let's go have a nice Indian. But the only thing is when I have bloody curries, they blow my ass out. It's terrible. Aside from South End Pier, this is the first time Roger has been east of Essex. It's a different world. It's like going to the moon. Jesus Christ, what have I locked myself in for? There was a time when we ruled India and they were pioneers and I'm as much a pioneer as ever they were. I've got to go, I've got to go and see this. This is fantastic. Delhi, a sprawling megacity that's home to 22 million and counting. A city on this scale needs a market to match, and Azadpur Mandi is as big as they come. Now, I've never seen a market like this. This, this is, you never see this. Be careful, there's lorries making it up. Nobody cares, they knock it down, they're over there. Oh, here's another route. Go on, mate, keep going. It doesn't just feed Delhi, it supplies food to the whole of India. A 100,000 people a day come to buy and sell produce for a billion hungry mouths. It's sold by the bag full and the truck full. This is amazing. This is, a, this is, this is unbelievable. There must be up to 100 guys, all interested in these great. Every square foot is a shop front. It's like a carpet of vegetables. It is. There's, there's fruit, sorry. Hey, oh, that's what happens. You, if you're not looking where you're going, you'll fall up. The first effect I'm getting that, that, you know, these people are friendly. They seem nice guys. They want to shake hands. That's lovely. Don't be frightened. I don't buy it, I promise. How do you do? This man's not so sure. Early each morning, hopeful dreamers arrive in search of work and a leg up in life. Everyone is welcome. People got out of their bed and they're trying to get a few quid. They won't get no fortunes here, but they'll get something. Everybody's trying to get a crust. We're all there to make a shilling. And for new arrivals, the most precious commodity is local knowledge. You have to make your way. Come, 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 come. He will not stop for you. Gamit Singh Bala has worked here in the family business for 20 years. He's agreed to introduce Roger to some of the movers and shakers in the Azadpur fruit and veg trade. So Roger, from how long you are working, you know? I've been working uh, in the fish market 55 years. 55 years. Oh, it's a long time. Yeah? It's a long time. You are just like my father. He also in this business from last, you know? Is he? And he's still 40, working? 50. Yes, he's still working. And you're finding businesses getting better rather than worse? No, it's become better. Is it really? You have population to feed, people earn more money. When the more money comes, it will go again back in the economy. Really? So that's why it's developing now. It's expanding now. Is it? Yeah. 
In vast sheds up to a kilometre long, around five million tonnes of fruit and veg are sold here each year. Rogers, this is an apple ship. Right. So I know one person here. Guru wants Roger to meet Mr. Big in the apple business, Amitabh Darwan. Yes, hi, how are you? I'm fine, sir. He's Rogers, just came from England. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Pleased to meet you. Same here. How are you? Good. How's the apple trade? Today is good. How many of these apples have you sold today? I sold about around, you can say around 5,000 bucks, 5,000 boxes. 5,000 boxes? Yeah. Every day? And it's a good day, you can say, we sell around around 20,000 boxes then, 20,000. How do I get in the apple industry? It sounds a good industry to get into. Yeah, yeah. Apples may be lucrative, but this is an industry run on trust and credit. You're going to start trading here, right? Well, I'd like to try. If you like to try and to trade here, but you have to give credit. And you have balls you have to, to give the credit, right? To the guy you know don't know him, right? You don't know the guy. Well, I'm not too happy about that. But you have to. You have to give the credit. Do you? Yeah, we have to give credit. Without credit, we can't survive here. So I won't, if I don't give credit, I won't trade? No. It's as simple as that? Simple as that. And one more thing for you. If you want to trade here, you have to be very careful about whom you trade with, right? Like everywhere, you've got good people and bad people. So right now, you have to be very careful whom you trust and whom you do the business here. You're the number one target. Number one. <laughs> That's lovely. Thanks very much. Yeah. We have never seen a white guy working here. I'm the whitest you'll find here. <laughs> Amitabh and Guru are commissioning agents, middlemen between farmer and buyer. Without them, little produce would reach the market. Most of the banks, they don't give loans. So we are the ones who give these small loans to the farmers so that they can do their business, that they can do the farming. But the loans benefit the middlemen too. This is a way of securing the produce, his produce, what he owns, will come to me. It's just assuring, not guaranteeing it, but just assuring that what he will produce, he will sell to me. If the only option is to work through agents and to sell on credit to strangers, the apple shed is no place for Roger, for the time being at least. With 50 different varieties of fruit on such an enormous scale, he still needs to find the best product to start trading with his stake. Raj Bhatia is big in oranges. This is Kino, this is just like Californian yes. orange type. Tangerine. I'm dealing in only one uh, commodity one throughout the year. Do you? Yeah. Because in Billingsgate, I serve 40, 50 different products. I have to. So you can get a living can you, just out of these? I have spent so many years in this field. Since my childhood, I am learning all this. Thing. I have expertise in this. Was your father in the business? Yes, yes, in the Was same he? business. Was he really? Yeah. So you two, and what about your son? Will he take over from you? I think he will come here. Yes? yes. <laughs> That's great, so it's three generations. Yeah. How the hell am I going to compete with you, a man that knows nothing, to a man that's been in it all his life and his father's in it, I've got no chance. I'll get absolutely smashed. I don't fancy putting my money into these. Not with opposition like you. Let's go. It would be very difficult for me to get into their markets. Why? Because it's all family orientated. Fathers, sons, brothers, Cousins, uncles. It's a closed shop. Like Guru and Amitab, Raj didn't think twice about following his father into the market. European countries ke baare mein main criticize nahi karla, lekin they have lost the family values. Lekin hamara ideal jo hai, hamare maa baap hote hain. Bharat mein aaj bhi maa baap jo hai, wo superhero hai ek bache ke liye. Sons may still follow fathers, but in the new India, bigger forces are at play. Rural to urban migration is transforming the nation. Delhi is one of the fastest growing cities on the planet. Following the produce from all four corners of the country, for many, the final destination is Azapur. From every caste and creed, all are united 
by one thing. You know, I've never seen so many people on market for years and years and years. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Never in my life have I ever seen a more thriving market. I didn't think they existed anymore. There's a massive demand here. And I feel that I've got a very big chance. Remember, if there's people there to buy it, I'm there to sell it. When I come into this market for the first time, it reminded me of when I first went into the market at Billingsgate. And this is 60 years later. One should never be overconfident in life because something kicks you in the arse later. But if you can't sell here, if you're not optimistic here, brother, then you've got to give up the ghost. I've had a bit of luck. Garou's given me a contact. I can buy a certain product here today that only comes in once a year. Now, what I know as a trader, something that only comes on the market once a year is very sought after. There's a chance to earn fucking big bucks here. If it's that short and I can get my hands on it, there's a big chance of me getting a nice few quid. Bayers, a tropical fruit available for just two months each year. Rogers arrived in the nick of time. Guru's contact is Bayer commissioning agent Piyosh Badeja. February is the main month. Because, is it? Yeah, because of the festival also. And what festival is this? This sir? is a Shivratri festival, Shivratri. Who celebrates Shivratri? Basic, basically, it's celebrated among the Hindus. It's a Hindu festival. It's a, Hindu it's a, festival. Yeah, it's a main Hindu festival, Shivratri. Yeah. And so it's, uh, there's a lot of importance of the bay fruit. Right. At that time, right. And that's what one of the things they celebrate it with. Yeah, right, right exactly. Uh, do yeah. you think this Englishman can make a little bit of profit? Definitely when we'll we're making the profit. The eighty percent of the population is Hindu. Is it? Yeah. Eighty percent. Eighty percent eighty percent. So we hope everybody's all religious. Yeah, all religious. But after Shivratri, the no one no buyer will be there available for the bay fruit. So See. yeah. It's a risky it's a risky process though it's a profitable. Is it? Yeah. The birthplace of four of the world's major religions, faith is central to Indian life and work. But one religion, Hinduism, dominates. With close to a billion followers, it's a lucrative market to tap into. Funny thing, isn't it? Nice, and they offer them to the gods. Good luck to them. Obviously, God's got good taste. In Azadpur, the most in-demand products are sold by auction. And today, nothing's more in demand than bears. <laughs> Fuck me, you've got to know what you're doing here. This is fast and furious. They don't take one minute to sell them. If you start twitching here or scratching your arse, you'll probably end up buying about five bags that you never even wanted. The first sales indicate the high demand. But for now, Roger's just getting a taste for it. I'm keeping a low profile. I'm not going to go charging in like I've done before, I've made a prick of myself.
Is he got that on his head? I'm a great believer. The longer the sound goes on, the cheaper they'll get. We'll see. But he's playing a risky game. Prices are rising with every sale. Too dear, too dear. You mustn't panic. That's the worst thing you can do when you're buying anything. Don't panic, because you do, you'll pay over the top. Take your time, it'll come, it'll come. With just ten bags left, the price begins to fall. And Roger makes his move. Nine hundred. That was good. That was fucking cheap. So we've done well there. We've done well. Great. Why do you have to pay the cash or the cash in? Right. That looks like two there. Check it out. Across the city, millions of Hindus are preparing to celebrate Maha Shivaratri in honor of deity Lord Shiva. Worshippers believe that devotion to Shiva on this day can rid them of sins and lead to eternal life. And true devotion can only be shown by offering the symbol of eternity and desire, bear fruit. There's lots and lots of people going into the temple. They're offering fruit, they're offering flowers. I'm here selling fruit. Should be a good thing for Roger. 20 rupees, half a kilo, so cheap. Bagging the best stand outside Central Delhi's most popular Hindu temple, Rogers added an unholy 100% markup. A bit like selling mackerel in Billingsgate, when it's very short. Happy festival, nice to see you. Morning. Aggressive salesman, you wouldn't sell nothing here. It's a festival, it's a religious festival. Use your brain, boy, there's a good lad. Morning, chaps. Morning. Morning, fellas. 60. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. And you want 10 change, ma'am? Yes. Thank you very much. Lovely smell wafting about. It smells like incest. It's lovely. God, it's beautiful. Do I mean incest? <laughs> I mean incense, you know. You can smell it. It's wafting. It's lovely. <laughs> Sorry about that. London City in Buckingham Palace. Terrific. Now, can I sell you any beer? 20. 20 rupees. Very cheap. 20, 40. After a promising start, sales begin to thin out. It's a Hindu festival, but the temple welcomes all comers. And while sales are slow, Roger heads inside. I've never been in a temple. I haven't got a clue what it's all about. So I feel it a great honor. Because I'm not a Hindu, I'm just a, a Londoner. How are you? Nice to see you. So I'm the son of priest, and he's my father, Mr. R.K. Koshik. How do you do, Mr. R.K. Koshik? It's a pleasure to meet you. If we need anything from Lord Shiva, so from uh, him only, we are just bringing in, in his ear, right? Whisper in the ear. Yeah. Okay. Whatever Roger's wish, it was not for the temple to be undercutting him. This, these are bears, right? Fruit bears. Yes. Does that mean that they'll come in here and then people will take them away free? Definitely. They're just taking it free of charge. We are not uh, charging them a single pesa for them. That's wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Should we move on, Japs? Yeah, okay. he just asked me. Not very good for business. I was trying to sell it outside. Nevertheless, it's part of their religion, and in business you have to take all comings. Lovely, carry on. I'm sure Roger Barton can compete with the church. Roger heads back outside to intercept the faithful. They're 20, this is 40. Thank you very much, sir. Take anyone you like, sir. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. 80. Thank you. Happy festival. By late afternoon and almost sold out, Roger returns to the temple for the festival's climax. For someone who's only ever worshipped the pound note, this is a new experience. I might not understand it, but I'm definitely part of it. You feel it, you can't help it. Why do these thousands of people come here and they donate? And they're not rich people, they would donate their last penny. That's wonderful, I couldn't do that. And in a way, I'm a bit ashamed of that. I never realised, in a way, what religion can do to you. It can make you friendly, and maybe it doesn't make you greedy. If I was to come here regularly, I don't think you'd see the Roger Barton of Billingsgate Fish Market that much longer. The last bay is sold, Roger makes one final trip to the temple to donate the day's profits. I mean, I come from the East End. I'm a Billingsgate boy. I've done a bit of time. And um, I've sailed on many occasions close to the wind. All the years I've lived one side of the track, I'm not so sure it was the right thing. You know the old saying is, you live and learn with life. You should always have an open mind. And seeing that, them people in that temple, it certainly opened my mind. India is one of the world's largest food producers, but it eats almost everything it sows. जो यूरोपियन कंट्रीज हैं वो बाहर के लोगों के लिए उगा रहे हैं उनके पास खाने वाले लोग नहीं हैं हमारे पास घरेलू हमारी जो जनसंख्या वो इतनी है कि जितना उग रहा है वो यहीं बिक रहा है Half the population work on the land and there's one destination above all for farmers from across India They want to sell it in Delhi because they have got a huge platform here. You can get better buyers, you can get better prices. Number of buyers, the more number of buyers they have, the better the price you have. So everybody is willing to sell their stuff in Delhi Mandi. In the wake of the farmers come the buyers from right across the country. Azadpur is the store cupboard for a whole nation, a nation with a billion Hindus on a veg-only diet. People here only depends upon this fruits and vegetables for their diet. They don't eat non-veg. You can say that it's a good place to be a trader in, in, a, in India of, a, of any fruit and vegetables. Every day, traders shift over a thousand tons of onions, 700 tons of mangoes, and 150 tons of green peas. Well, this looks like a madhouse. You've never seen so much money flying around all your life. And he, won't, he ain't got time to count it, he's going to weigh it. That's how much money he's taking. I've watched, they don't auction two or three at the same time. They auction one, which is very clever, because if you auction two, you're half in your crowd. So if you only auction once on the side, you've captured the whole of the crowd. Good thinking. These people are not a fucking idiots, I tell you that. Talk about a bees round the honey pot. You've never seen anything like it. Look, have a look at them, look. Half of them are in the fucking sack. Can you imagine how much money he's took here today? Fabulous, good luck to him. And I said to Mao's business, and he went, it's down a bit today. Fucking down? I'd like to see him when it's up then. He hasn't stopped. Despite the wads of cash changing hands, Roger decides not to go in. The place is electric. There's such a demand for this, I'd love to get involved. But I know when there's such a demand for a product, 
The price is through the bloody roof and my profit will be lower and lower and lower. Waste of me time, but it's an half lovely. I'd love to get involved with it. My brain tells me otherwise. It's nine o'clock in the morning, but this is the end of the working day. For one side of the market, at least. Delhi's hot summer climate dictates what's sold and when, dividing the market into two separate worlds. With most vegetables more perishable than fruit, Azadpur's wholesale veg market operates not during the heat of the day, but in the cool of the night. I've only ever been here during the day. This is a total different ball game. This is a new world. I haven't got a clue, really, how it works. But I'm going to try it. That's why I've come here. That's why I've come 8,000 miles to trade. Guru, a veteran night market trader, has agreed once more to show Roger the ropes. They look like they've got plenty over there, look. Yeah. Carrots are an Indian staple, with up to 1,600 tonnes sold each night, most to reps of the country's biggest food retailers. They may be hypermarket buyers, but this is really a giant farmer's market. Anif, <laughs> he's a farmer. Yes, Anif. How are you? He brings these products. Does he? Yeah. Why do you come to the market with your produce? इसलिए आते हैं कि जैसे अपना माल की सुरक्षा के लिए देखने के लिए कि मतलब हमारे मार्केट के अंदर जो माल बिक रहा है सही बिक रहा है मंदा तो नहीं बिकता है या मतलब भाव अच्छा मिल रहा है हमें। I can see why you come to the market because if you're here, nobody can pull the wool over your eyes. Nobody can cheat. Roger's timing could be good again. The carrot harvest is nearly over in the state of Rajasthan, the country's main producer so he could benefit from an end-of-season rush. OK, what's the best price you can charge me? The minimum 600. One bag. Yeah. OK, well, I'm going to have a quick run round, but I want to come back. You seem a very nice man. You can charge me. 500 rupees. He's asking for 500. 500 rupees. Roger bids 400, but it's the farmer, not the middleman, who holds the power. The man selling to me actually is on commission. The fellow standing next to him is the farmer. Instead of the man having the authority to take my bid, he has to refer back to the farmer straight away to see whether he's happy with the bid I've given him. So it's a bit hard for him because he's the man in the middle. sorry. The farmer rejects Roger's bid. You are asking very cheap. I appreciate that. Well, we'll have a walk round. Okay. We'll have a walk round. No problem. Thank you. See you later. Just see. Okay. Check the quality. Let's go back to the first key. I think we've got a chance with him. He might drop a little bit. What's the best place? Five. Five hundred. The trader agrees on five sacks at five hundred each. To increase his customer base, Roger now wants five more of a higher quality. But a premium product commands a premium price. Still a lot of money. I don't know, it's on you now. 720, tell him the guy. 720, 720, give him the money. Give him the money, yes. Okay, thank you. Five bags. Five bags, 720. Give him the money, otherwise he will run away. 720, okay. Well done, help him, help him, he wants one. Come on, boys, let's get moving. OK, let's go. OK, steady, steady. Steady, brother, steady. Can't keep up with us. Steady means this way, look, here. Just there, fellas, that's it. OK, fellas. Roger's battalion of porters has moved his ten bags just a hundred yards to the retail market. OK. At Azadpur, 
Markets exist within markets. By midnight, the wholesale veg trade is winding down. But in a few hours' time, this retail market will come alive. Guru has arranged for Chatta, a small-scale veg trader, to assist Roger. How do you do? How do you do? Thanks, sir. We're behind time, so we better start working straight away. Chatta is 21 and works in the market to support his wife and newborn child a thousand miles away in his home village. <laughs> Having bought two qualities to widen his customer appeal, Roger's asking 900 for premium, 700 for regular. Best, best price they would be, would be 700 a bag, OK? 300 a 700 a bag. As the only white trader in the market, Roger's attracting a lot of attention, but no serious buyers. Now, gentlemen, have we got anybody who wants to buy and rather fuck about? With his boss under siege, Chatter deploys his secret weapon. Fantastic. Good boy, Chatter. Good boy. Well done. Well done. Now they can see what we've got. Come on, then, who wants these? Have a look at these, look. All fair in love and war. Half on red lights, so the carrots look even redder. Fucking good idea, on it? Ready? The first okay, sale's Jana. only five kilos, but it's a sale nonetheless. Thank you. 75, please. 75. Thank you. Money? Money. Are you buying them, sir, or not? Not. You're not? Well, why did you ask me to weigh five kilo up? The man is not a customer at all, but a rival veg trader checking out Roger's prices. I'm in another man's land, so sometimes you go with the flow a little bit and take a bit on the chin. He's probably got more friends here than I have. Come on in, you carrot buyers! By dawn, Roger hasn't sold a single carrot. <laughs> Determined to shift his stock before the market finishes, Roger drastically reduces his prices. He's now selling for a loss. Almost immediately, he makes his first sale. Two bags. And the customer comes back for two more. So this man, he'll be running out the market, his feet won't touch the ground. He thinks, I've found an old Englishman who's a bit of a mug. A new punter wants three bags. Roger may be prepared to make a loss, but he's not about to give it away. 400, 600, 1650, that's it. 1650. Ah, 1,600 three bags. That's the absolute fucking box. We've got him on the hook, but you've got to play it a bit. It's just like playing a fish. You know, he wants them, he wants them badly. And I'm not going to budge if I can really help it. 1,600, I'll go. How much? Sixteen hundred. Sixteen hundred. Yes. Take the sixteen hundred. Good boy, Charles. You done bloody well, kid. Good boy. I was selling my carrots not ten yards up there. Come and have a look at this. Tell me. How much are you selling them for? This is 650. 
650. Hanji. 650. I bought my carriage not 100 yards away. I brought them over this shed. This guy's come along, bought three sacks. I've struggled to get 550. This man's got them here and sold them for 650 rupees. It just goes to show a market within a market within a market. उस टाइम पे मेरे को लगा कि ये है नहीं नहीं जो भाई साहब वहाँ गाजर बेच रहे थे माल खरीद के बहुत अच्छा लगा मेरे को सस्ता माल मिला और मेरे को मेरे को रोटी मिली हंसके मेरे को बहुत अच्छा लगा Produce can be sold and resold four or five times within Azadpur, with just a tiny margin added at each stage. Though profits are small, it allows thousands of people to make a living from a single market. Roger hasn't made a rupee today, but had he sold for his asking price, his profit would have been the equivalent of just five pounds. अगर आप ऐसे चाहते हैं कि रोजर को रात रात में ही बहुत बड़ा अमीर बनना है प्रॉफिट कमाना है और सबसे बड़ा प्लेयर बन जाना है आजादपुर मंडी में आके तो आजादपुर मंडी उसके लिए सुटेबल जगह नहीं है जबकि भारत में ऐसा नहीं है भारत में वसुदेव कटुम्बम सबको बराबर का हिस्सा मिले जहां हर आदमी अपने हिस्से का थोड़ा थोड़ा कमाता है और अपना गुजारा चलाता है in the markets in London, we're there to earn as much as we possibly can. That's the name of the game. I'm certainly not going to get rich here. But maybe there's other things, other things in getting rich. It's not the be all and end all maybe, but selling more fish or more carrots than anybody else, and making more than the next man. That's for you. Thanks once again. Thanks. Kid, you were terrific. You're always prepared to work. That's wonderful. And if you were my son, I'd be very, very proud of you. Well done. Well done. with one of the fastest growing economies of the 21st century, India and Delhi are changing. And the market which feeds the modern megacity is changing too. Today, not everyone is earning just a little. A new breed of trader is emerging. What I think is end of the day is all about money. Seriously, it's all about money, nothing more than that. As India becomes richer, the market's top traders are too. Population has been always there. It's always been there. But now the people have money. By the real estate boom and the IT thing and everything's happening. Everybody knows what is happening in the world and now everybody's got money and they're ready to spend on it. And they're ready to spend on the good things like to improve their lifestyle and have healthy foods, spend it on fruits. New refrigeration technology means the needs of the growing middle class can be met all year round. And there's one out of season fruit that's in more demand than any other. How much of the apples per box today? 900. 100. Roger learnt early on that the apple trade is tied up by credit and middlemen. But the lure of the market's most lucrative product is a powerful one. He's got more experience in the market now, but there's no avoiding its age-old obstacles. There's little I can do. I've got to buy off these fellas. That's the only way I can get apples. That's where they've got one over on me. The brothers are going to earn out of me. That's what they're here for. They'd be mugged if they didn't, but they're going to take me aside and say, come on, Wadji, we're going to sell it to you nice and cheap like fuck they are. They'll earn the profit that I should be earning if I went direct and that would be direct to the farmer. Only grown in the Himalayan foothills to the city's north, India's apples funnel through Azadpur. The country's entire apple supply is controlled by the men in this shed. And Roger's met one of them before. I don't think you'd do me any favours, but nevertheless, if you don't try, you'll never know. Good morning, Amu. 
Hi. Nice to see you again. Hey, How are you? Good. Tell me, what are the prices of raffles? Only I've come to buy some. See, the biggest selling one thousand seventy-five. One thousand seventy-five. Oh, mate. What's the very best on them for me? An old friend. Yeah. If you want to sell it off right now, right? Yes. You sell it again. Yep. And make some money, right? That's the name of the game. Yeah. So you go for this one then. These are the cheaper ones. Oh, right. Yeah. Because these are little dirty ones, right? Yes. You just have to just... Yeah, yes, it's like You no. just walk, it, walk on them and you take money. Yeah, OK. So, so what's the best price we can do for these? See, these ones I'm selling for 750 rupees. To your own buddy. To you. Please. Remember the children. Right, yeah. I think the best I can do is like seven. 725 for you. Alright? Can we do seven? Alright, let's do 700 then. 700? Yeah. And I'll give you the credit. Okay. But just for one day, right? Okay, so I got one day's credit. Right. One for day. You, because you're a new guy. We yeah. give credit to like people for 30 days, 50 days, but yeah. I know them. But you seem a good guy. Well, I try I try to be, I've never knocked yet. Yeah. So okay. Rogers bought on credit so his customers may well expect the same. It's a thing I wouldn't give in Billingsgate. If I don't know the guy, I don't give credit. It's as simple as that. It's a sure way of getting kicked up the bollocks. I don't feel comfortable about it. No, I don't. What do you do? What you do is call on your tried and trusted sales assistant. I fruit Thank you. Excuse me, chaps. So you tell me what you want. Um, I take cash if you've got any. If not, we'll have to give you bills, OK? Oh, there's 750, sir. Ten boxes? Ten boxes, 750. Yes? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Thank you. And even better, he's a cash buyer. You're a gentleman. You're a good man. Okay, who's next, gentlemen? 750. Undeterred by the language barrier, the customer returns. Another five, 3750. Thank you, you're a gentleman. When you come to England, I'll sell you some fish. Thank you. Yeah, okay, good luck, bro. Okay. Five, five. Five boxes. With the first sales complete, Rogers on a cash for apples roll. You're a gentleman, older, let me just count it. Art. Art, okay, eight boxes for the gentleman. 6,000 rupees, please. Five, six, seven. Three boxes for the lady. Is that okay? Thank you very, very much. Five boxes. Three, seven, five, oh. Well, they went well, didn't they, Chatter? Huh? They went very well. Having shifted most of his stock, so far Rogers managed to avoid selling on credit. Yes, sir. Good morning. What would you like? How many? Six boxes. Yes, sir. Cost you a little bit more. 800 a box. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Despite the higher risk, selling on credit gives a better return. And when will you pay me? When, a, when can you pay me? Okay. Okay, well, look, um, I don't know you from Adam. Can I trust you? Thank you, thank you. Okay, well, if I can trust you, thank I'll be you. round tomorrow. Ah, okay. Make sure you got my money, won't okay, you? Okay, okay. Yeah, make sure you got my ah, money. Man, okay. Take his address, Chatter. Well done. Write it down. My gut feeling says no, but I'm going to let him have it. I'm going to give him the credit. I haven't got a lot of choice. The last customer yeah, isn't a cash boxes, buyer either. No problem. Yes. Four boxes, £800 a box. What you've got there is my profit. If I don't get your money, that means I've worked a day for nothing. Again. We've earned our corner today. It didn't look like it at one time, but then bang, we done the bastards. Good boy. Good boy, kid. You done marvellous. Rogers sold out, but his hard work isn't over yet. 
The last two geezers I sold my apples to, I gave credit. To make a profit, they've got to pay me. But regardless whether they pay or they don't, Amru, the apple seller I bought the apples from, has got to get paid 35,000 rupees. And that's what I'm all about. Wherever I've been and whatever I've bought in life, I always pay. Having to go around and collect your money is not a nice business because some of the time they haven't got it and now it's embarrassing. They don't know what to say, you're getting the raving up and things sometimes end up a bit nasty. All I want to do is buy and sell a bit of product. Not that hard, is it? OK, you wait here. OK, thank you. Hi there. How are the apple sales going? I've come to collect a bit of cash, please. OK. OK. 3,200, I believe, is the money. Thank you. 30, 31, 32. I always knew you were a gentleman. Thanks very much. Good luck. One down, one to go. Lovely. Wait here, please, driver. I ain't got a fucking clue where he is. I ain't got a clue. No, I think I'm wa wasting my time. I don't think there's anything up here. Right, oh, let's venture up here. Ah. Oh. Good afternoon, sir. How's the old apple trade going, my son? Yes, is it good? Good to see you. I've come to pick up 4,000. Have you got 4,000 for me, please? Lovely. 1,000, 3,000. I'm afraid to say it's not enough money. Five boxes at eight, 4,000. Sir, you went through the boxes four times. I didn't force you to buy them. My patience is wearing thin. I want 1,000 rupees, please. I've got 3,000 rupees. It's not enough. Four thousand. Thank you. I thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. And thank you. That was a very difficult situation. It's tough, but a debt is a debt. Whether it's ten pound or ten million, you buy something, you pay for it. Can I come in, sir? Uh, please, please take a seat. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, tell me. Well, I managed to sell out, which was great news. Yeah. But the last two gentlemen I have to give credit to. And you took the risk? I took the risk. And when I went round to find them, they were where they were supposed to be. Mm -hmm. The first gentleman paid like an absolute swell. All right. But the second one, it was more of a battle. In fact, it was a battle. All right. And if it had been in England, I'd have grabbed him by the throat. Yeah. Because <laughs> he was, a, you know. It happens all the time here. It's a part of a business. You just gave him like nine or ten boxes on yeah, credit. That's right. And it happens with us. We give like two thousand, three thousand boxes on credit. And then he turns up, I don't have money. You have to just settle with him for a lesser amount of money. This happens a lot of time. You have to just absorb the shocks. It's part of the business, I think. In the apple Monday. But I did get paid, and consequently, in my left hand pocket, I have 35,000 rupees. Which of you gentlemen accepts the money? I'll uh, give it to him. This gentleman is the banker. 35,000. Thank you. The pleasure's mine. Thank you for trusting me. No problem. From his £30 profit, 
Roger has one last debt to settle. All's well that ends well. I'm happy to say we got paid for the last nine boxes. That's your share. You done blind, you chatter. Yeah. My team's made up of Indian boys. And any time you want a job, you come and see me in Billingsgate. There'll be a job waiting for you. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. You yeah. too. The cow. Yeah, cow. Cow, cow. Everyone here owns a living. They take what they need and no more. It's a different way of life. And to be honest with you, it's a nicer way of life. They say the richest man in the world is not the man who's got the most money. It's the man who's contented with what he's got. When I started this adventure, I thought I was going to learn a lot about markets, and I have. I've learned a lot about markets. But more so, I've learned so much more about myself, the way I think, the way I do things, priorities. Being number one, being top brick on the chimney, to me now, is not the be all and the end all. It's having time for other people. It's having a bit more thought for other people and a bit more understanding. Credit? No problem, sir. You can have as much credit as you like. In fact, I'll tell you what, take your time. Pay when you can, OK? Lovely. Thank you. Bye now.